Hi, I'm Gracie and this is Jacques and this is my beautiful home on Wills, Fannie Mae and we are Gracie and Jacques Adventures on YouTube and come on in and take a look. Hi guys, well today is the day I know you've all been so excited as I have been for the tour of Fannie Mae. For those of you who don't know, she is a Ram Pro Master. I bought her in 2023, ordered her brand new last January and she is a 3500 159 extended and she's beefed up. She's got extra heavy duty alternator. I got a lot of extra bling bling on her that I wanted to make the travels for Jock and I more pleasurable. Let's get on with the tour. I wanted Fannie Mae to feel very much like a cozy cabin. I'm a very colorful person. I'm very eclectic. Um, as you can tell, I've got <clears throat> a lot of little things that mean a lot to me. For instance, over on the, the sink, I have a stained glass butterfly, and that's a reminder of Mary Posa. But uh, by the refrigerator, my grandma knitted and crocheted, and she made me pot holders, and I've had those probably 50 years now, so I, I, I brought them out special and hung them there. I, I love my stained glass lights. They're from Morocco. They're absolutely gorgeous. I'm really into crystals and natural healing, so I have my altar set up and it just brings me a lot of joy and peace. The glass rose was the last gift I gave my mom before she passed away. So that is very, very special to me. Yardsticks, when we, <laughs> when we were kids, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> my mom was a disciplinary in our family. We either got swatted with the ruler or swatted with the yardstick. So <clears throat> I brought home a couple of yardsticks back to Johnny before the build. And I said, if you could use these somehow in the build, that would be awesome. So not Friday night, but Saturday night, I'm laying in bed and I'm looking around and oh my gosh, the yardsticks are up there. And I was just like, right on right on you know family is very important to me my mom and dad would it would be so happy that i'm living my dreams so my father was a green bay packers fan so i have several items in here that are a tribute to my dad being a green bay packers fan I got to tell you, when you said you had a surprise for me, I could not imagine what it was. And then when the surprise was revealed and it was my pull-out desk drawer, I could open up and there were um, markers in there and my favorite type of coloring books. I was like, oh my gosh, that is fabulous. Love that. I, I love that I have ample amount of storage. Um, now, in your your van, your dresser, I believe, has one more drawer than mine. And to me, when I was thinking about how I wanted Fannie Mae to be built out, I really wanted to keep an open concept as much as possible. So I did not want a high dresser. So um, you gave me four beautiful um, drawers. They're perfect. I've got beautiful butcher block up here for my uh, crystals. You came up with putting a, a lip around it so things wouldn't slide off and it just turned out absolutely fabulous. Originally I was thinking about having my um, Moroccan lights above my bed but when you and Bernadette had called and said, hey, what do you think about this? And that's one of the things that I really appreciate about Johnny. You guys, if you are ever thinking about having a van build out, 
I'm gonna tell you 100% Johnny really listens to what you want but I also appreciate it that she has the insight to say you know what do you think about this and you go oh my gosh that is such a great idea because you don't know what you don't know and so I think when Johnny's building something an inspiration hits you and you know your clients so well that you're gonna say you know what I think she might like it I'm gonna call her we have discussions and I'm like absolutely go for it so the Moroccan lights up above the dresser much better place than where I had originally thought <laughs> So the top drawer of my dresser is a junk drawer. Everybody needs one of those. My second drawer is my uh, coffee supplies, my toiletries, my uh, medications. My uh, third drawer houses my food and canned goods. And the fourth drawer holds electronic cords, my GoPro, things of that nature. Over here, underneath the bed, of course, I've already talked about my uh, desk drawer. This is my clothes drawer. On the bottom there is my step, and it pulls out. The lid comes up, and that's where my dirty laundry is. It's out of the way, and it's perfect. I've got a perfect size closet. As you know, a lot of you know, I love my dresses and my skirts, so I having a closet was important to me. So I have my beautiful closet and then Johnny uh, built the cabinet where I could store my laundry supplies, my shampoos, my hair supplies or and extra towels are up there. The top drawer of my galley is my silverware knife drawer. The middle drawer holds my spices, my foil, my, you know, plastics, all that kind of stuff. And then the bottom drawer is my induction cooker. I have um, a little um, skillet down there. And another cool thing, which was absolutely fabulous, because as you know, in van life, space is premium. Johnny built a shelf that goes the whole length of the cabinet. So I have plastic bags and extra hand towels. And perfect spot for those. So I do have a 30 gallon water tank and a 10 gallon gray tank. Now it was important to me to be able to uh, dump my gray tank wherever I happen to be. You know, I, I use biodegradable soap so I it is very earth friendly. I also have an Ogo toilet. I have a big electrical system, Blue Eddy AC 300. <laughs> We've done quite a video, quite a bit of video um, tutorials so that I can look at each segment and learn my system better. I've already learned several things the hard way, which is for me the best way to learn. I have um, an EcoWave 2 which is heat and AC, and I used it for the first time last night, and I was so comfortable all night long. I also have a little electric blanket that I'll turn on a couple times during the night, but as you all know, my biggest bed warmer is Jacques. Jacques, come, come, bed, bed, come on, come on, up, come on, up on the bed. And that's how it's done. Me, I have to pull the step out, step on it, and get up on bed. But Jacques, he has no problems whatsoever getting up on the bed. And as you can see, this is pretty much where he lays. I get that side, and you can see how much space I get. <laughs> is this your van? This is Jacques' van. I'm just allowed to drive him around in it. So another 
another fabulous thing that uh, Johnny did, and I think it was Bobby's. I, was it Bobby's idea to build a platform like this that would go from the seat into the dash area? So, as you can see, they built me this beautiful platform, and I had his cushion and blanket, and he would just slide, slide, slide. So, I was at uh, Menards the other day looking for some grippy rug or something, but I went down the barbecue aisle and I saw this mat. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's perfect because one of my uh, concerns is Jock, you know, will get my dashboard all scratched up. And as you can tell, I just slide this like this and it goes and it curls right up. And I bring it. Thank you for following along and seeing the beautiful tour of San Diego. You can find me on Facebook and Facebook and See you down the road.